Bonjour! For this video, I will show you guys how I made Cat Noir. For this project, I will be using Deuce Gorgon's body and also Supergirl's head. This doll has been through a lot of trial and errors when I refused to invest in MSC before, so now I decided to revive him. This doll is meant to be in a display box with Ladybug, so I will make his body unposable and cover the joints and crevices with epoxy sculpt clay. I actually do have the official Cat Noir doll from Bandai, but I prefer to make my own since he doesn't match the Ladybug doll that I made. The old Deuce Gorgon doll actually matches Cat Noir's body much closer than the official doll, so I was really happy about that. I'm sure you can use air dry clay as well, but I'm not sure if it will adhere to the body properly. After the body is fully covered, I will set it aside to let it cure, and it'll be ready for sanding. Meanwhile, I am going to start on his face. At first I intended on using Deuce um, for the face, but I was unsure with his head sculpt because his butt chin was too prominent, and Cat Noir has smoother features. So Supergirl came to mind since I didn't stop trying to find an alternative head. I clean up his face using acetone or nail polish remover. And after that, I set his face using embassy a couple of times, then I start the outline using watercolor pencils. I wanted him to have a slight smirk and to be looking towards Ladybug when they are in the box. Like I said in Ladybug's video, I can't leave the eyebrows out even though I know it'll be covered with his mask. For some reason, it just helps me with the entire process. I wanted his eyes to really pop despite the close color relation to his hair color. I was going to change it to blue, but it wouldn't look like Cat Noir or even Adrian if I did. I just used a lot of cat eye references to give it a striking contrast. I wanted to darken his eyelids just so that it has dimension when we do put the, his mask on, um, just so that it doesn't look too plain. I used a mixture of green and yellow tones to make his eyes pop, and it also adds a distinct contrast from his hair color. And after the eyes are done, I give him his secret identity. I just use a glossy acrylic paint to match his catsuit. And we are pretty much done with his face, I'm just trying to add some more details and sparkles on his eyes. And we are done with his face! And now back to his costume. I sanded the clay to have a smoother transition, then I start painting. I actually really do like his costume, but I have plans to slightly alter things around as usual. For his wig, I will show the process of how I sculpted his hair in a separate video since it was a little bit too extensive. And of course, we cannot forget his bell. He has subtle paneling on his costume and also some zippers, so I decided to add that with silver paint. 
For his boots, I painted it like the original, but I gave it a distressed look since he parkours and climbs and jumps across Paris. For the added accessories for his gloves and boots and also his cat ears, I use black craft foam. For the belt, I'm just going to recycle the belt from the Bandai Cat Noir, since it fits perfectly for this doll. For his weapon, I'm just going to be painting this straw black, and I'm also going to add his Miraculous on it. And now we are completely done with my version of Cat Noir, and I hope you guys like him. Also, by the way, comment down below who you think Hawk Moth is, because I have a feeling that it's Adrian's dad. Like, I feel like it's really obvious. But um, yeah, I want to see who you guys think he is and if you guys are ready for season 2. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video.